Hey guys, uh, what is up? Deagle here, and uh, what we have today, get this sword out of the way, I was kind of pondering the ideas for uh, shops in Minecraft, how to make shops, you know, kind of going with the adventure map theme from the last video, and uh, this is my, I have another example over there, it's actually not built yet, but I have another uh, idea what I'm going to do for a shop in Minecraft, but I thought we should start with the... The first idea I had, which has some good things, some bad things about it. And uh, first of all, what I have, the, the shop is basically, you see your items here, the cost right here, you get five, uh, five levels of XP, for five gold, and throughout the thing. So let's get some, let's say we wanted to do the same thing, what would you rather use? Dirt. So let's put, I say, put, put dirt in here. It's not going to do anything because it's dirt. You actually need the gold. So that's a good thing about it. So this one's five pieces of uh, gold. I used golden nuggets. And so you just throw it in there. If it works, there you go. We got a bow. We're ready to dance. So, uh, stone sword. Four. So it should work out like that. We got a stone sword. There you go. So it's a good little shop. Uh works out good seven that's a little bit more seven bam iron sword yeah so it's, it's it works it's pretty functional and it's uh pretty foolproof let's see let's actually do this a smart way and uh good another good thing about it is it doesn't take out the gold until you close the chest because it's a trap chest on the hopper so that's the way it works That M sword. So it just counts up your money. Make sure you got it right. Five for five arrows. Let's see what happens. Five arrows. Shoot them. And the last thing is the XP. So let's put in five and see. So the shop works nicely. And I got five levels. So that's some some good things about the shop. Uh, you can't get anything just without destroying blocks. You can't really get any items or anything extra, so you can't like cheat. If you were in adventure mode, this would be a pretty ideal situation. The thing is, you can't rebuy the items for the same amount. The way I, I set this one up in particular, you you could have a thing where it resets, but since it's so close, it's kind of hard. It's really hard to get them to all reset on their own, but so that's kind of a downside. The upside is maybe you want an item to be only purchase purchasable once. You could do it like this. Uh, or you can even make it so the item, it takes more to buy it the next time. So let's see if we can get another bow. If we just put in like six, let's put 64 nuggets in. We should most definitely be able to get another bow. Actually, we're not going to be able to. So scratch that. But you can only buy it once. Because the way I set it up is... Uh, let me show you. I was thinking wrong. But yeah, adding more items to it won't do anything because you need to, uh, to flash the pulse again. What I do? You may need to turn off and on the, po the signal. But if you want to buy only one... Make it so you can only buy one item or the item once. Easy way. You just put... Uh, golden nuggets throughout the whole thing and then subtract out the number from 19 that you that you want and that's the number that goes here um so this one was four gold i think so you'd subtract four from 19 you keep it at 15 and uh when you put in four it will activate the second pulse and uh when you put in four We'll activate the second pole, so then it would activate this command block, which basically is set up to give you the items that um, that you want. So that's all I got. Uh, easy little shop. If you wanted to, you would have to reset the hopper by pulling items out of it until it's back to the selected spot. So this one would be back to 15. This one would have to be back to like uh, 13, and so on. And you'd have to do that for each one after. So you'd have to have like a pulse, probably simple way you do it have a redstone scene that comes down here hooked up to a 
repeater, and then you can get your pulse for each single one. So that's the downside to that. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video. I'm going to have another video on the other shop, which is a little better in my case, but also has some downsides and some upsides as well. But I think it's also going to be good. Uh, it's for different situations and whatnot, but I'm going to keep trying to make some shops. Hopefully you guys enjoy that because there's a lot of ways to make shops and I'm going to try to think of the best one for an adventure map, which doesn't rely on, you know, that when it'll rely on different things. You'll see tomorrow's video about that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't seen my other videos this week, please check them out. Uh, just click my channel. There you go. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.